Hi guys, it's Nana, and um, I have my sweet baby Samuel here. He is full body silicone, and I'm going to wipe him down, powder him, and change his clothes because, as you can see, he still has on his Christmas onesie. <laughs> I am such a bad mommy. Anyway, um, you want to know how bored I am? You want to read my shirt? Okay, it says, I just want to have, no, what's it say? I just want to, what does it say? <laughs> I just want to hang out with my dog. That's what it says. And you know how bored I am because I don't even have a dog. But <laughs> I have grand dogs. And I would much rather be at my daughter's house playing with my grand dogs than staying in this apartment by myself, being bored out of my mind. But um, I know that I am not the only one. So anyway, I thought, you know, I needed something to take my mind off of things. And I have been playing with the babies and dressing them and... um. Yeah, just trying to keep myself occupied. You know, there's just so much cleaning you can do when you live by yourself and you only have two rooms. Um, so I'm not going to clean anymore today. I am going to, however, um, spend most of the day playing with my little angels. Yes, I am. I love baby Samuel. Um, he was a amazing, wonderful gift from an amazing, wonderful young lady who is a um, sweet, sweet, kind, thoughtful, gentle young woman who um, really cares a lot and loves Papa and I. And um, she gifted us this sweet, sweet boy. And her name is Selena Hung. And she is in Hong Kong. And so, um, you know, besides praying every single day, many times a day for everyone, um, I am... Praying heavily for Selena and her loved ones um, in Hong Kong. I wanted to show you, in case you're wondering, here is Sweet Baby Samuel's um, birth certificate, COA, Certificate of Authenticity. This is Baby Dylan. He's number five. And he is full-bodied silicone, sculpted, poured, and painted by Joe Birch, Ten Tiny Toes, and Baby's Nursery. He's 18 inches long, and he is 6 pounds and 8 ounces. And, um, yeah, so her um, eBay address is www. Ten tiny toe nursery dot co dot uk. So she is from the UK, and here's some photos of my little angel Samuel. So I thought I would show you that because it's been a while since um, I got this sweet boy. He's got a belly button um, that is permanent; it stays there. And um, I would change his diaper, but you know what that's all about. So I am going to wipe him down, however. Uh, I noticed a little bit of dust on him. Not much, though, because um, I keep my babies, all of my babies, are covered with blankets and things when I am not um, doing anything with them. Um, to keep the dust off of them because 
I don't know why. I don't know if it's everywhere or if it's just here in Missouri, but the dust is horrible. Just horrible. I mean, I can just dust my furniture and the next day I can actually see dust on my furniture. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I... I'm just um, really tired of seeing everybody so upset from this virus thing. And you know, you say you're not going to watch it anymore, but when it's everywhere, everywhere you turn, like, it doesn't matter if it's a TV channel, if it's a radio station, um, and I mean, you know, we need to be... Um, you know, kept up on things. I understand that, and I appreciate those who who are doing that for us. But you know, it seems like they all say the same thing at the same time. So if you've seen it once, you don't need to watch it again, right? But they turn around and they do it again. So, come on, sweet boy. Um, yeah. I just am tired of it. Um, and I, and I know, um, I know there are some people who, um, have lost loved ones, um, to this. And my heart goes out to them. I pray every single day for no more deaths and for God to just lift this horrible curse from us. And I know for a fact that there are some places who will not let their employees stay home. Um, without telling them if they stay home that they will lose their job. And I have a family member who is going through this, who has had compromising immune systems since birth. Um, she even got a note from her doctor saying that she should stay home. And even at that, they told her if she did, she would not have a job when she came back. Now, I personally think that that right there should be against the law. I mean, I understand that a lot of people can't stay home, um, you know, uh, and I, I, oh my gosh, my, I appreciate so much the nurses and the doctors and those people who, like the truck drivers, you know, who are delivering our food and our essentials and things to the, the grocery stores and, you know, um, I appreciate them all, but if you have a compromising immune system and there is somebody that you know that may be working with you that um, has been sick, this should not be happening. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that because I'm going to get very, very upset and very vocal about it if I don't shut up. So I am going to shut up now about it. But guys, we need to really be praying for everyone. And, you know, 
you hear different things. I mean, you know, and I heard one lady um, say, if it wasn't for the left, you know, we wouldn't be in this mess. Excuse me, people. This is not a political fight. This is a fight against a virus, an unseen entity that we are fighting here. It, it, ha it should have absolutely nothing to do with, um, you know, whether you're a uh, Republican, Democrat, um, you know, it, it just shouldn't. And people are making it about things like that. And those people need to just be quiet. I'm sorry. Just be quiet. Um, you know, the old saying, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, I think people should start saying nice things to each other. You know, and... Um, instead of so much negativity, let's start putting some really good thoughts out there. Like, you know what? Um, yeah, we're, we're having a rough time of it right now. Um, but God is in control. He always has been. He always will be. And this will pass. And hopefully it will pass without any more deaths and sickness. Um, or at least that's the way I'm praying. And I just think that we need to start spreading some joy instead of negativity. You know, we're... Not all of us... Um, Are you know have the luxury of staying at home and being with our family? Um, a lot of people have to go out there and work because if they don't, they're going to lose their job, um, and they're worried about paying bills and things like this. This is a serious time in our lives, and you know I'm 68 years old and I've never been through anything like this. Um, so, you know, let's just stop, okay? Just everybody stop. Stop and thank God. Thank your lucky stars that you are not ill and that this too shall pass. That's all I got to say about that. Wow. Wow. You know, guys, seriously, why do they make these straps so long on these, these outfits for these babies? My goodness. And this is on, you know, the tightest strap. Look how long that is. My goodness. Let's see if we can at least crisscross them in the back. Maybe we can. Maybe we can, sweet boy. I know I used to do this with my children's outfits, but these babies are so small that I'm not sure it's going to make, oh, there's something on that. I did not know that was there. I don't know what that is. Um, these are secondhand clothes that I bought from someone. Um, I guess I... That's the one thing that I didn't see when I was opening them all. Oh, let's see, baby boy. We can pull these down a little bit more. A little bit more. Well, I hope everybody and, and your families are well. And... You know, if, if you're home with your children, um, I did tell my daughter, I saw online um, that there are actually um, 
places that you can um, uh, go online and, and, and they actually give you um, ideas of things to do with your children while they are home other than school. And one of the things that I thought was an excellent idea is to um, have your children or grandchildren um, have the children to um, write letters to senior citizens in the nursing homes because right now um, they're not even allowed to have any of their family visit them. And, you know, you might have a friend for life, you know. it. They might end up being really good pen pals. People haven't been writing letters for years. Maybe it's about time we get back to doing things like that, you know. And writing letters to our soldiers. Um, telling them how much we appreciate and love them for everything that they're doing for us. You know, teach teach the children um, to have respect and love for people. And I'm sure most of you already have taught your children those things, but there are some out there who haven't, I'm sure, um, because life, you know, gets in the way sometimes. I'm sorry. I, I really hope that I'm, I'm just talking away. I really hope that you can see my sweet Samuel here. Um, see what I'm doing. He's got the most adorable hair. I love his, his hair that's not controlling. You cannot control his hair. You can spray it. You can lay it down. And... By the time it dries, it's, you know, all over there again. But that's cute. That's that's what's cute about him. I adore this baby. All right. So, you know, maybe get them to write some letters. I'm sure that uh, the people would deeply appreciate anything that they would get at this point because so many of them are just, um, you know, in these nursing homes lying there by themselves with nothing to do and really needing someone to tell them how much they care about them and, and appreciate and love them. And here is my sweet, sweet Samuel. I love this little outfit. Um, it's kind of like velour. Um, the, the bottom is. And then the top up here with the Peter Pan collar is just a cotton collar. He's got on his blue and white socks. And they have little elephants on the front of them. Just wanted to show you um, his little pass. He says, love you, mama, on it. If you want to see his mouth, I love his sweet mouth. Here's his little mouth. He's so precious. Mwah. Well, alrighty, guys. Um, let's turn you back around so you can see Samuel. And I guess that's, you know, all I have to say. Um, I am expecting a package today. A um, really good friend of mine was having a sale um, on Instagram. And I bought something from her that I'm excited to get. So... I think it's going to come today. I'm not positive, but I hope it does. And if so, I will make another another video. Oh, let's turn you over here. There he is. There he is. 
I hope everybody is having a good day. Um, you know, hang in there. These two shall pass, I promise. Let's see, you want to suck your thumb? Hmm? He can suck his thumb. Yeah. He's a sweet, sweet boy. Well, enjoy your babies. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all and keep you and your loved ones safe. And I will talk to you all real, real soon. Mwah. Love each and every one of you. Bye-bye.